Hello fabulous friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bang Bang Von Lula and I am a burlesque dancer, producer, and a beauty enthusiast. Besides beauty in general, one of my favorite favorite things are all things vintage. So anything like 1970s and before has my heart. I am just such a fan of how people used to wear their makeup, how they would put together their looks, the simplicity of it all, the quality of the products and pigmentation. There's just a lot in the historical manner of makeup and hair and fashion that I am just obsessed with. If you go back to my very first video, which is my everyday makeup, you'll see that I tend to lean towards a vintage aesthetic. So today I am extremely excited to be reviewing a luxury brand that specializes in recreating authentic vintage lipsticks. For all my vintage fans out there, I am sure you've heard of the company and that is Besame Cosmetics. Besame is a woman-owned cosmetic line based in California and they have a multitude of different products including powder, foundation, traditional mascara cakes that you get wet with a little wand. Their bread and butter product is definitely their super, super pigmented lipsticks. Because I'm super stubborn, I waited to buy these until something happened that I was just like, you know what, I'm taking the plunge and I'm gonna go and buy a bunch of Besame lipsticks, try them, and probably become addicted, which is absolutely what happened. What was the turning point, I hear you asking? Well, frankly, that turning point was watching the Netflix series Hollywood. If you have not seen Hollywood, I will try not to spoil it, but essentially what it is about is the golden era of Hollywood post-World War II. It features multiple different characters who all have their own background and different race and sexuality and goals in Hollywood. It's a really, really fun Ryan Murphy project that just like blew me away as far as hair and makeup went. And I really, really did like the story. It was a really, really rough time if you were Jewish, gay, black, Asian, and many, many other things. And this show really focuses on what would have happened if we had dealt with things differently? So the thing that made me buy the lipstick was I found out that Besame supplied the lipsticks to the main characters, and I'm sure most of the characters in the show overall. I really love seeing everybody's signature look. I'm kind of trying to emulate a similar one to a couple of different characters in the series that wore these adorable um, little leopard print outfits with these little box hats to the side. So this is me trying to pay a little tribute to that. Head of makeup and also a producer of the show, Aaron Kruger Mikesh, decided to have each of the main female leads have their own signature color. So I went ahead and bought most of those lipsticks that were listed as being used. Now that I've tried them, I'm certainly gonna buy the ones that I didn't purchase that were used in the series. They just filmed beautifully, looked beautiful on all the different skin tones and stuff. I just was blown away. And after trying them, I understand the absolute magnificence of the formula and why it's just so much richer seeming on film. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the show and also give a little history about Besame Cosmetics. And I'm gonna show you each shade that I have purchased on my lips, including a mix of two, which is what I'm wearing right now, that they featured on the character Anna Mae Wong. I recently did a video for the Asian Pacific Islander Heritage Month featuring Anna Mae Wong, where I transform myself into her while talking about some history of her life. Luckily, even though this video was in the works for a while, Hollywood gave the focus that people needed to actually know who I was talking about as far as this video went. I'm really happy that they're bringing more attention to this amazing, amazing movie star. So let's go ahead and get into the history, some information about Besame Cosmetics, and the swatches. Every Besame lipstick includes this pamphlet that outlines a two-step process created in the 1940s by movie industry makeup artists. This process helps keep the lipstick in place all day, as well as looking very perfected. 
Even down to the box, Besson May's eye for detail is very, very beautiful. Here you see a sticker that notates the color of the lipstick, which is Red Hot Red here, and that it's a true shade replica of a color from 1959. This specific shade was based off of one of Marilyn Monroe's real life favorite shades. Now they haven't disclosed exactly what the original shade was called or what brand, but allegedly this is a duplicate for this lipstick. And here's just a little unblemished, perfect, seamless lipstick porn for you. In the series Hollywood, Camille Washington, played by Laura Harrier, wears this lipstick as her signature shade. So here I am applying it according to that two-step process. I've lightly blurred out the edge of my lips with foundation. I'm using the sharp end to line my lips and now the flat end to fill them. Now we're doing our first blot, our second layer, and then one more blot. This is a gorgeous red, a little bit more of an orangey tone, which Marilyn Monroe was rumored to like, and it just looks stunning on the Camille Washington character, so I'm certainly obsessed. Next up we have a shade I was particularly excited about, and that one is American Beauty. And this shade was created in replica of a color from 1945. The reason I was so excited about this shade is I had been looking for a red with a good pink undertone that read more as a red than a pink, and I couldn't find it, and then this was the one. In the show, this is the signature lip color of Claire Wood, who is played by Samara Weaving. In the show, the lighting varies pretty extensively from scene to scene, so sometimes this lipstick would read very, very, very dark. Other times it had more of a bright pink hue. It's just magical, and I love this two-step process too. The blot and then the second layer and the second blot really help make the lipstick look beautiful and last so long. Simply put, this is my most favorite pink tone red I have ever come across. Next up, we have a lovely darker sort of vampy shade, and that one is called Blood Red. This is also an authentic shade from 1922, so really in that flapper era. Also, my OCD adores the fact that the imprint of the Besame logo lines up perfectly with the logo on the tube. I really, really love how you can perfect the lip line with the lipstick bullet itself. Also, I want to note that this color was not in fact used on its own for the Hollywood series but used in conjunction with another color to achieve a look for anime Wong. But look how beautiful this vampy vampy red is. So here we have the anime Wong character, played by Michelle Krusek, and I was just blown away by her performance, and they achieved her signature lip color by mixing Red Hot, and the previous color I swatched, Blood Red. So here you see me adding a layer of Red Hop on top of that and just, oof, look at how it turned out. Just so great. And all of a sudden I have a hat on. So <laughs> yeah, I just felt like a fucking movie star with this stuff on, I am not gonna lie. My final thoughts on the Besame lipsticks are they are fabulous. The formula is super, super pigmented, so it kind of redistributes itself over your lips throughout the day, so you don't have any of those annoying patchy places, and it's so comfortable and just looks luxurious. I am really, really excited to buy a few more tubes. Or if we're going to be totally honest, I would like to buy all of the lipsticks in the collection. Um, but yeah, this stuff is just absolutely worth every penny, and I understand the cult following behind it. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the lipstick used in the Hollywood series being swatched and worn. I really, really love this formula, as I'm sure you could tell. I just am so, so blown away by it. I'm really bummed at myself that I waited so long to try it, but 
here we are and now I'm going to work on building my collection. Big shout out to Best May Cosmetics. I love that you're women owned. I love that you're creating these beautiful high quality lipsticks that are authentic shades from the 1920s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and so on. So until next time, my friends, remember that the future is bright and I will see you in my next video.